Our very next guest is one of the creators of a game called Day Z. <laughs> oh, revered. <laughs> He worked on Daisy for quite a while before departing to create his own studio and his upcoming projects. So please join me in welcoming Dean Hall from Rocketworks. <laughs> Dean. Hey. Welcome to the show, Dean. Cheers. Now, Dean, I want to start right away by talking about early access. You're one of the people with the biggest range of experience with early access. What do you feel like the status of it is right now? Well, I guess I, I kind of have mixed feelings in some ways. Like, mm. it's given us games like Kerbal Space Program, uh, Prison Architect, uh, but it's, it also has its challenges, both for consumers and developers. Right. And I mean, I think Valve's refund program has helped a bit with maybe perceptions and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. it's challenging as a developer, particularly when your game gets really popular. <laughs> now, yeah. that's, that seems sort of paradoxical. I feel like most people would say, oh, it's great to be popular, but what, were, what was the strain that you were under? Well, I mean, one of the advantages of early access is, like with Kerbal Space Program, the scope was allowed to get bigger. But if your game gets really popular and you're continually redefining your scope, then you kind of lose perspective of your roadmap. And I think that's why I, you know, I feel the roadmap's super important. Yeah, and, and what exactly would that constitute? Like, if you were working on another early access project, how would you want to communicate it outwardly to the consumer? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, I played a game called Neo Scavenger, and people probably, hopefully people know it, it's PC gamers, so uh, I had a really great roadmap that to told you like what stuff was completed, and I think that was something I learned as being super important, because, because otherwise people don't have a picture of where your game's at. Hmm. So with your upcoming game, Ion, let's take a look at some of the trailer footage, and you know, I want to know, what, in your eyes, is the first big target for a project that's this ambitious? Uh, well, I think, um, I, I think actually a, a great game is more about what you don't put in than what you do. So I guess in some ways it's easier to, to describe what this isn't. You know, it's not Star Citizen, it's not Elite, it's not Eve. We wanted to look at what happens inside the stations. So we're using a more Diablo style camera. It's based on a game that I absolutely love called Space Station 13. Has anyone played Space Station 13 out there? Yeah, look at that. You so, and you and you. Honk, yes. honk, honk, honk. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of where I come from with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually curious with Ion. I mean, this, the, this sort of footage, it sort of hints to the gameplay, but you know, if I open up Ion, what am I literally seeing and literally doing in the game in those early steps? Yeah, I mean, we're trying, to, we're trying to give people an opportunity to see what it's like to you know, be a pioneer and go around the stations. So we're sort of stitching together these regions and then allowing players to have their own region and then you know, walk around the region. So yeah, I mean, we, we wanted to get back from that first person view and actually get back into that Diablo style view. So, so it becomes more about what you're doing in the game. So is it not a 3D environment or is it like 2D it is, with like a Z no, plane? No, it's a 3D environment. It's okay. not true isometric, but yeah. Offset camera. So, I mean, I know that there's a lot of ambition going into this project, and there's some people that feel like you abandoned the Daisy project. It had such a huge, ambitious scope. I mean, it pretty much spawned the zombie survival genre. And then you departed. I know a lot of people were upset. I mean, I think even on your Twitter it said that you're going to block people who talk about Daisy. I did for a while, yeah. Nice. I, I didn't, though. Like, yeah, that's kind of stupid. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now you can mute them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please tweet at me at Day9 TV. Now, well, I'm curious how, with that stigma, how you try to shirk that and deal with that when you're working on this next project. Yeah, I think um, a lot of it comes down to, you know, learning the learning the lessons. And I think that when when I first came up with Daisy, it was an accident. I mean, it was a mod that I thought maybe 50 people would play, but a lot of people played it. And when, when I first looked at what to do, I realized I didn't have the resources. And so I sold it to Bohemia, who, you know, who I knew had the ability to make the game. Uh, and I stayed a lot longer than I'd originally intended. But you know, Ion is an example of a game that I've, I've always wanted to make. And yeah, so it's a challenge. And I think really it, it's now about me proving that I have learned lessons and that, yeah, we <laughs> deliver on stuff. So 
what do you expect to be a, a timeline to where we can begin to get our hands on? And what would you want that initial prototype to be? Well, we're showing very little at the moment because we're very conscious that to really make early access work and, and, and to make a decent game, we need to have more of a besieged style approach. Uh, has, who's played besieged? Yeah, look at that. It's good, right? I so, built a catapult. They made a really polished core, and I think that's exactly what early access needs. So that's what we're doing. We don't uh -huh. have an exact time frame for that. We've already pushed a couple of times. Yeah. Now, uh, because we only have a short time left, I have to ask, having played DayZ, I want to know for Ion, what's the best bug thus far? Oh, the best bug, yeah. So um, fairly recently, when you were clicking on another player, all their organs fell out. <laughs> So we, yeah, so, so, so it's, the, it's a persistent game. So when your brain fell out, you, you couldn't do anything. So, and also your level is, is kind of important. And if a kidney falls Apparently. out, you're actually okay. You have another kidney, right? That's right, yeah. Although all your organs fell out, so. So you have realistic organ simulation in yeah, IAM? Yeah. Mm. The um, technology we're using and Probable, the um, company that I've partnered for a joint venture in London, uh -huh. they've made this amazing technology that allows us to simulate all entities in the world. And I think that's huh. what's really been able to allow us to double down on the concept. Mm. Well, you've teased a lot of cool ideas. I mm. look forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean Hall. Thanks, PC Gamers. Thank you, Dean. PC.